follow YouTube essentials and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a picture or a background uh, in Cinema 4D so such as this background that I made and as you see it looks pretty cool uh, it's 3D text and uh, it's all glossy looking so let's go into Cinema 4D and first of all you wanna make a background and I just use a sphere for a background and I just make it bigger I just make it as big as we can okay and now uh, select sphere and um, make it like make the segments go up and um, increase the segments and uh, to about 112 and uh, now uh, let's make text so go to MoGraph text object and yeah let's uh, now let's uh, make it editable object or no wait first drag it up and then uh, add let's add some spheres and uh, hold control and click C and then control V to uh, copy and paste the sphere and then again control C control V we might need three spheres for this for the text so I'll uh, now separate them like the other sphere and separate it too and yeah just make it one bigger and one smaller yeah about there um so now drag the text right over the spheres and uh now select the text object and click C and then click on this plus button and then click on the plus button again and again and uh, uh, click on the first letter and hold shift and go down to the last one and click on that and then just drag it out of the group and then just select the text object and delete it and uh, yeah so now you have added little text, individual text so let's just place it into the position I know there's some kind of uh, effect that you can use but on my cinema you can't really download any plugins so I have to do it manually get a tractor or whatever it's called um, so now we want to make it look like it's attracted to the uh, to the spheres so as you see it doesn't look much attracted so uh, let's use this tool to change the angle of the text and just make it a bit like it's uh, standing on an angle same angle as the sphere about there and a bit to the side I guess yeah right there then just place the text down uh, nobody's gonna notice that it has a little uh, thing there but it's not like exactly matching the sphere but who cares so now um, I'll go to oh crap right. my bad um, now I go to E and oh, let's edit E So you just save two. And just drag it down. I'm gonna do a quick job of it so I'm not it's not gonna look perfect, but you guys can do better if you spend more time than I do. Okay. Now make this angle and just put it down. Up there. 
in the X. Drag it up a little bit and it looks like it's glued to the ropes. You can see that the E is not glued. But, um, yeah, now it looks like they're kind of stuck to the sphere. So maybe, um, first of all, we had to change the font. Uh, but I didn't do that. But you can do that. So before you do all this, uh, when you have just the regular text, you have you can change the font. And uh, let's see, maybe you can still add the lead caps. Yeah. So select each individual letter and go to fill it. Go to like start and. Uh, Select fill cap and then go to end and fill cap and then on each letter fill it cap, fill it cap, and then, uh, fill it cap and fill it cap on each letter. Okay, so you can change uh, to convey whatever, or uh, you can change different fill it caps, but I like convex, so it's alright. <coughs> So um, now we wanna make it look uh, like we have all the material, like um, the background I have. I've created all these like colors and everything. 